I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay? Even when you wanna walk away When times get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down In my life without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now I don't wanna let you down It is currently 20 past 11 on Tuesday night. I have just gotten up from a couple hours kip and I'm about to start a 24 hour readathon. So I decided to do one of these, um, it's like a personal readathon. I am sharing it with my patrons. So I am doing sprints at midnight. Jade and Pris are gonna join me and I'm really excited. And then tomorrow um, from midday through till midnight, Jade's doing some hump, hump day sprints so I'm joining her with those which will be really good that will help me get through the back end of the readathon but um, we're going to kick it off with some sprints now my Goodreads goal for the year was 100 books I am at 196 so it would be nice to hit that 200 mark and maybe go sailing past it a little bit that would be awesome last year I read 215 books the year before was 214 I'm not likely to get higher than 215 books. I'm not likely to even get close to 215 books. So I am okay with hitting 200, maybe getting a couple more than that. Um, that would be really good. I am partway through some books at the moment that I've been reading for my, what would be my usually read weekly reading vlog, but it's gonna end up being two weeks. It's gonna be Christmas week and then the last week of the year. Um, so, I may or may not pick one of those up, I'm not sure yet, but I have a whole bunch, there's a whole stack there of books that I am interested in reading. Um, and basically I did a poll on Twitter, I will show you what it looks like, it looks like this, and each emoji corresponded to something. So the bow was for gifted books, the 100 was to finish some series, the pause button was to read some books that I'm part way through and finish those and the, uh, what is the last emoji? I'm trying to do this from memory, I don't know why I do these things, I've just woke up. Um, and the star eyes emoji um, is for mix it up, so do a mix of all kinds of things because I wanted to have um, a bit of a theme to this reading vlog uh, and basically the gifted books won so this is a huge stack of some recently just gifted and some gifted previously so it will help me get some um, books off of my shelves that have been on there for a while as well uh, and yeah uh, that's my plan obviously I'm not intending to read all of these um, but a good chunk of them would be nice um, but the books that I think I'm going to start off with, there could be a number of them. So I have a graphic novel here which, you know, will give me very quick satisfaction to get through. It is a reasonably chunky one, but it is a new, the new one from Molly Knox Ostertag who does the Witch Boy series, which I still haven't finished yet. I was going to put that in here, but it wasn't gifted, the last one, the Midwinter Witch. I bought it myself. So um, The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. This one was gifted to me by Larissa for my birthday, just gone. Um, so this is 
a contender for the first book that I pick up. I may pick this up to break up an actual physical read maybe. Um, but it looks like this is queer and it's following 15 year old Morgan she, who has a secret. She can't wait to escape the per perfect little island where she lives. She's desperate to finish high school and get as far away as possible from her sad divorced mum, her volatile little brother and her group of best friends who don't actually know Morgan at all because really Morgan's biggest secret is that she has a lot of secrets including the one about wanting to kiss girls. Um, so yeah. I'm looking forward to picking this one up and then as far as my actual read is con my first like novel read I have Beasts and Beauty Dangerous Tales by Samane Chinaney which um Maddie got me for my birthday um and this one has like it's very nicely broken up with some illustrations and stuff so um this one could be a really really nice read actually and i may start this and it could be one that i kind of read throughout the day because it's got different tales in it um so i could read that one yeah that has quite a few different tales in it so i might read that one throughout the day maybe or just start and finish it if it's going really well and then i also have beautiful bastard by christina lauren which i'm really interested in reading which is obviously a um romance i'm going to assume sweet smutty romance and on the back it says an ambitious intern a perfectionist ex executive and a whole lot of name calling so um yeah i that's could could be another option as well for me to read um this one was gifted to me by cody yes by my cody so yeah those are the three books that i think i might start off with possibly and then get into some other bits but yeah i'm gonna go because i need to get myself set up and ready to go for sprints in 35 minutes and send the link to the girls etc um but yeah i'm very excited i'm hoping to get through a decent chunk of these i am going to go and i will check back in with you later on when the reading has started and let you know how i'm getting on and all of that good stuff and i will see you in a little bit Hello, I'm here to give you an update before I'm about to go to bed. I've just come off my sprints. It's currently 3.52 in the morning. There's my little lad. Not my little lad. My nephew <laughs> reading. 
Um, and I wanted to give you a quick update. I have made a lot of progress and I'm really, really happy with how those sprints went. So Jade and Pris did join me. It was really good. We had a good time. Um, and I managed to finish a book and start two others. So I'm doing really well. First book that I did finish is The Girl From The Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. This was gifted to me by Larissa. So thank you, Larissa, for gifting me this one. And I gave this one four stars. This was really good. It was sapphic. It was really cute. We're following this girl called Morgan, who is 15 years old. And she's been keeping this secret back. Um, her parents' relationship has broken down and they are getting a divorce. Um, her dad has moved out. She lives with her mum and her little brother. Her little brother has become increasingly annoying since the divorce. And basically, she's just feeling like she doesn't belong there anymore and she wants to escape. So she has this plan in mind that she's going to leave town as soon as she possibly can go to college and all the rest of it she has these three best friends who she doesn't fully feel like she belongs with them and stuff and then she meets this girl um who is not as she seems um kelty has some secrets of her own and as the girls start to fall in love these secrets come out and Morgan starts to, you know, realise a few things are not as they seemed previously with her life, with her brother, with her mom, with um, her plan that she had with her best friends, etc. And it was really good. It was just definitely a story about, you know, a coming of age story about Morgan trying to find herself and this relationship between these two girls. And it was just really, really cute. And I really enjoyed it. The illustrations were beautiful. And I had a really good time reading this one. So four stars for The Girl From The Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. And that's one book down for the reading vlog. Um, then I did start Beasts and Beauty, Dangerous Tales by, by Saman Chenani. And this one was gifted to me by Maddie. So thank you, Maddie, for gifting me this one. And I got to page 68. So I've read three stories so far. I have read... Where is the... Red Riding Hood snow white and sleeping beauty and i'm up to rapunzel and my intention with this is to use this to break the day up a little bit there are 12 um stories in here overall so i've read three already then i'm going to keep breaking the day up by reading three and then reading something else then reading three then reading something else reading three until i finish the book so this will be another book that's going along throughout the day as i'm reading my other books which is great and so far really enjoying this the illustrations in here are stunning so beautiful the storytelling is also beautiful not what i was expecting at all quite dark um but really enjoying it so yeah having a good time with this one and then the other book that i have started is beautiful bastard by christina lauren this one was gifted to me by cody so thanks cody for this one and i am currently up to page 66 i'm halfway through a chapter i'm thinking i want to try and get to page like 100 or so before i go to sleep so i am going to take this up with me to bed and read for a little bit longer. But this is following Chloe, who is uh, whip smart, hard working, and on her way to, her, um, to an MBA. Um, she only has one problem, her boss, Bennett Ryan. His name annoys the life out of me because his first name is a last name and his last name is a first name and it's annoying the fuck out of me. Um, he's exacting, blunt, inconsiderate, completely irresistible, a beautiful bastard. So Chloe is working, obviously, underneath Bennett and she's working her way towards her MBA and her plan is to get the fuck out of there as soon as she possibly can once she's gotten her MBA. But uh, this beautiful bastard has other plans and um, it's a romance. I, I assume a romance is going to ensue. It's very smutty already. 66 pages in, we've had two or three sex scenes already. So very smutty, enjoying it. Loving Christina Lauren's writing style. You can tell that this was some of their earlier works, I think. Um, I'm fairly certain that's the case anyway with Christina Lauren. But um, enjoying it nonetheless. Oh yeah, 2013. So yeah, I think that this was definitely one of their first books, if not their actual first book that they wrote. You can kind of tell. Um, but yeah, it's nice to kind of go back and read some of their bat list and then see the glow up in their newer books. So enjoying it so far. It's good. I'm hoping that this will be a fast paced read. It didn't take me long. Actually, I read those 66 pages in a 45 minute 
um, sprint and I nipped to the loo in that sprint as well. So I probably only had about, I don't know, 40 minutes of the sprint and I read 66 pages. So it's going well. So, so far, really happy with the progress I'm making. These are the two books that I will continue on with when I wake up. Once I've finished Beautiful Bastard, I am thinking that I'm going to go into Final Girls by Riley Sager and pick this one up because I really would like to read a thriller today. Um, so, and I think that this one will be nice and fast paced and shouldn't take me, I don't know how long it will take me to get through. I will listen to the audiobook. Um, so I think I might pick this one up. I don't know. I think it's one of the shorter thrillers that I have on my TBR. So possibly this one. But I'll let you know in the morning when I get up. And then I might try and pick up a gra another graphic novel as well. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'll have much time for another full book once I pick this one up. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I will check back in with you when I get up after I've had a nap. I am going to go and have a bit of sleep. Six and a half hours later. Good morning. It is 10 to 11 and I have just had my food shop delivered. So I have put that away. I have been reading this morning. Um, I have been up since about half past nine. Uh, I probably had around four and a half to five hours sleep last night which is pretty good i do feel like shit <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i feel really bad so i'm gonna go off and get a shower because i feel like that's gonna make me feel a bit better and get some food and i will be back in a second to give you an update on my reading so let's go do that do a bit of a transition and i'll be back Okay, quick transition, quick reading update, and then I can get some food because I've literally just had a shower. I, strangest thing just happened to me, I was drying my hair and I've known that my hair dryer has been on the out for a while now, so I did ask Matt and Tara to get me a hair dryer for my birthday. But although the hair dryer was smelling a little funky because I've had it for a while and sometimes it can smell like burning, it's been fine, it's still been working okay. Anyway, couldn't be bothered getting my new hair dryer out of its box and carried on using my old hair dryer and I paused. Like I get part way through my hair and then stop, give it a brush and then go back to it so I can see how damp it still is and it wouldn't turn back on. <laughs> so it's a good job that I um, anticipated that happening because now I have my new hair dryer which is so much better. So success. Uh, but it is now half past 11 um, so it's been... I don't know, how long has it been? About 20 minutes, maybe, if that? I don't know. So, let's, no, it's not, it's been about 40. That makes way more sense. So let's give you an update, struggles, struggles. Let's give you an update on this so that I can go and get some food and then take some Nurofen because I have a headache and I need to take something. Um, but I haven't eaten yet this morning, so I need to eat something. So, which probably doesn't help. I am trying to stay hydrated. Um, so, Beautiful Bastard, I am still reading this one at the moment. I am on page 182. I got to page 100 and odd, uh, very early on in the hundreds, uh, last night before I went to sleep. So I did carry on reading a little bit longer, page 106. Uh, so I've read like 80, almost 80 pages this morning uh, before my food shop came and then I wanted to jump in the shower. So I am gonna finish this in the first couple of sprints that we do for this 12 hour shift that we're about to put in. So yeah, I am enjoying this so far. It's very good, very heavy on the smut, incredibly heavy on the smut. Very nicely written though, really enjoying it. Um, and I'm intrigued to see where this goes. And then I will jump back into Beasts and Beauty and read a couple more of these before then diving into, I think, a thriller. I still fancy reading a thriller. Whether or not it is gonna be Final Girls, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go upstairs and have a butcher's at what other thrillers I do have. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted either way, whatever I decide to pick up. But I am going to continue on with this. And I am now going to go and get some food because I am really, really hungry. So I will give you an update later. Oh, you're going to copy me. Might as well. Hi, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Cute. It's a legendary moment. History is made here.
Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go later um it's now 25 to 8 in the evening i am still going i haven't slept again since this morning so we're powering through and i have lots of updates for you i just got carried away with reading to be perfectly honest i wanted to get as much done as i possibly could i've been doing a bit of housework whilst i've been doing that as well i took the tree down i've done the washing up i have done a load of washing i've put some washing away i need to go make my bed at some point so many things have happened i have finished a beautiful bastard i don't think i've updated you on this since i finished it but I gave this one a four stars. This was really good. I really enjoyed the characters that we followed in here who are Chloe and Bennett. So it bothers me that his first name is a last name, generally. But um, I really enjoyed this. It um, ended the way I expected it to end. It was predictable. It's a romance. It's always predictable. But I did enjoy it. The conflicts that happened in here was kind of understandable. It wasn't, you know, one of those really ridiculous miscommunication type uh, conflicts or anything. I really enjoyed it. I am thinking that I'm probably going to carry on with the series. I really, really liked it. I don't know where the series goes next or who we follow next. Oh, we have some more with Chloe and Bennett. Nice, beautiful bitch. Um, nice. So I'm interested in carrying on with the series. I did give it four stars. Incredibly steamy. Constant sex scenes in here. Incredibly smutty. Um, if you are looking for that kind of thing. But also with a plot. Because I know that I recently DNF'd a book that was incredibly smutty. It was Neon Gods by Katie Robert. I DNF'd it because it was pure smut for like 100 pages partway through the book. And that I still had like over 200 pages to go, I think. The, the book's almost 400 pages. I still think had like over 200 pages to go. This is like a really nice length. This is just over 300 pages and it's a really nice length for a smutty romance book. But this has a plot to it as well, which I really enjoyed. Whereas Neon Gods, I just couldn't see the plot at all. It was just pure porn so <laughs> i uh, really enjoyed this it was great four stars for this one so i'm glad i'm through that one and i have made some progress in two more books so beasts and beauty which i've been making my way through throughout the day i am now currently on page 241 i just have three stories left and my intention is with the sprints for the final sprint to finish this book off that is my intention so i will definitely finish this today um, but I have also started Final Girls by Riley Sega. I did take this to poll with the patrons between this one and Dark, uh, what was it called? 
dark and shallow something or others dark and shallow lies which uh this one ended up winning which i kind of predicted would probably be the case dark and shallow lies was shorter but um i so far i am 146 pages into this one this is following um, a woman called quincy carpenter who 10 years ago she went on vacation with five friends and came back alone this is basically following um her she's a final girl and another final girl called sam and uh one of the other final girls as well who um lisa uh, but it turns out that lisa ha has been found dead in her bathtub and um quincy thinks that there's something sus about it sam then comes into her life these three girls have known about each other for a while now sam then comes into her life i am suspicious of her let me tell you extremely suspicious um and yeah so far it's going okay i have predictions i'm not sure what's going to happen here i have predictions i think things are about to go to shit for quinn um we will see what happens here she does have a boyfriend called jeff she has a cop friend who was the guy that rescued her the day that all of this went down um called coop and um yeah i i reckon some stuff might go on there with them i'm not sure but so far it's going okay so 146 pages in i am going to carry on try and get as much of this finished before the end of today as i can and like i say as the last sprint comes up i will be diving back into this to finish this one off so i don't reckon i'm going to get this finished today but i'm going to get as far as i possibly can and in the morning i will finish it off i obviously slept for a little bit so if I end up going over by an hour or two tomorrow morning, I'm not going to be too mad about it, but I want to get as far as I can into this one. So yeah, enjoying this one so far. I have binged a bunch of Riley Sager's books this year, and I think I've given them all four stars so far. So I don't, I think this is, uh, I don't think that, see this being any higher than a four star, but so far it's probably like middle road three. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm going to dive back into this one and then come back to this in the final sprint, finish that off. And then I shall definitely have finished three books. That's for certain today. Um, and gotten shit the bed and gotten a really decent chunk into a fourth and then tomorrow i will finish this one off in the morning as part of this reading vlog um so yeah i will have done a decent amount i'm pretty happy with my progress to be fair uh, it will get me over the 200 book threshold and i will get a little bit further than that i reckon because i do have a couple books that i am still part way through that i would like to finish before the end of the year whether or not that happens i'm not sure but we'll see what happens so i'm gonna go finish this one off and i will check back in with you later morning <laughs> it's gone midnight it's well gone midnight it's now 20 to 2 in the morning and uh, i've just come off from backstage with the girls after finishing sprinting and this is me wrapping my vlog up so i've done 24 hours reading i haven't read for the whole 24 hours i did sleep for a little bit but i'm really happy with how much i've managed to read i have managed to finish four books um, so I'm really, really happy with that. I am a little bit pissed because I thought that I needed to read four books to get to 200 books on my Goodreads goal. It turns out that Goodreads has this really shit system in which sometimes when you do a reread, it will add a secondary date. So it will, what it will do is change the date of the first time you read it to finishing the same day you finished it the second time you read it. Does that make any sense? So say I read a book in 2019 and then I reread it this year. What it'll do is change the date of the 2019 first read that I did to a 2021. So then it looks like I've read the book twice in the year. So I've gone through my Goodreads and changed two of those. Um, and it turns out that I still now need to read three books uh, to hit 200 books so i'm on 197 books read and i've only realized this once i've gotten to the end of this reading vlog which i'm really mad about still proud of myself for how much progress i made today because i really smashed it but it's kind of put a little bit of a dampener on it because i thought i was going to be coming back to you now saying i smashed it i hit 200 books for the year um and i'm not even finished with reading yet blah 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 that's not the case <laughs> so tomorrow i've got to sort myself out and try and read another three books if at all possible so we'll see what happens with that i am going to do a separate vlog for that a um 
complete my to-do list slash good reach challenge vlog um but yeah let's go through what i read in this reading vlog so i did read girl the girl from the sea by molly nox ostertag which is a graphic novel and i gave this a four stars i read beautiful bastard by christina lauren which is a smutty romance office romance and i gave it four stars I did read Final Girls by Riley Sager. I also gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was very good. As always, Riley Sager's got this really good way of... I always find that his books are like 3.5... 3 to 3.5 stars for most of the book. And then the last like 60 to 80 pages maybe is like an extra star. So it always ends up like a four star read for me, always. All of his books so far have been four star, I'm fairly certain. The only one I haven't read yet is Survive the Night. So um, yeah, I enjoyed this one, it was really good. Um, the twist I did not see coming at all, really enjoyed it. I thought there were some other twists of good that were gonna happen that never uh, came to fruition. So I totally got it wrong, which is the story of my life with thrillers, which is why I love reading them, because I never get the twist right. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Very, very good indeed. Four stars for this one. And then my final read was Beasts and Beauty by Saman Chenani, which is a um, dangerous tales, like retelling of fairy tales, essentially, but dangerous, a little bit dark. Uh, and I really enjoyed this one. Again, gave it four stars. It was very good. The illustrations in here were beautiful. This is the sort of thing that I could reread or dip in and out of for a bit of a story every now and then. So I really loved this one. And again, four stars. So that's four books, all of them four stars. I had a pretty good reading day, I think, even if I do say so myself. And I'm very happy with the progress I made. So thank you to Larissa. Maddie, Caitlin and Cody for gifting me these books. I really do appreciate it. I do plan on doing some more of these in the future, I think. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this one. This really helps me get through some of the books that have been gifted to me because sometimes um, I just struggle with prioritising some of my backlist and some of these books have been on here for a while. Actually, that's a lie. These were all brand new. Um, but some of the other books that were in my big stack had been on my list uh, I have been on my shelves for a while that have been gifted to me for previous birthdays or Christmas presents or, you know, hitting um, markers or whatever, you know, for, you know, subscriber count or whatever. So I really do appreciate every single one of you that gift me 